Hi guys, Hunterian, 1986 here. Uh, long, long, long overdue with a kind of small update video of um, kind of what I've been doing really for the last two years. Um, haven't posted a duty for two years, scary. Um, as you can see, two years hasn't done well for me. A bit fatter, but hey. Um, kind of stopped doing YouTube videos because I lost the love of YouTube. I was finding myself going out into the wilderness, going out on, on my little adventures that I do and filming for the sake of it and not kind of living for the moment and then taking it all in and I was more worried about oh, I need to get something on, on film or or Instagram rather so took a little bit of a break um, however there's many many people that I still see um, speak to and camp with on a regular basis so um, yeah I've, you know I've, I still do prepping I'm st I still um, I still go camping, I still kind of do EDC bits and pieces, um, joined the scouts, left the scouts kind of, that's a different story for a different day, and um, yeah, still do lots of overnighters with, a, with many people from all over the country, so you know who you are, and some of you I hold very dear to my heart. Um, I've been lucky enough over the last kind of two years to, to still you know, conquer some personal goals, did Ben Nevis last year, which was a massive achievement for myself, um, and I've been lucky enough to... Uh, to work with Dustin from Bushcraft Tools, um, helping demonstrate fire pistons and, and do fire lighting workshops at the Bushcraft Show and at some of the Bear Grylls events around the country. So I've been blessed. Um, and if you are at the Bushcraft Show or any of the Bear Grylls um, survival events this year, please come over and say hello. And uh, you know, I know the fire piston isn't everyone's cup of tea, but just give me two minutes of your time, and uh, you know, I'm sure you'll have a different opinion of the fire piston of its uses. Um, once you, you know, once you've had to play around with it. Um, yeah, today I'm at the Ibrook Reservoir. Like I say, just thought I'd do a very quick update video because it's long overdue. Ibrook Reservoir is about, well, you can't see it because I'm on the road part at the moment, the boring part. But the Ibrook Reservoir is about six mile, sorry, six kilometers from where I live. Um, I think it's a, an eight or nine mile round circuit. So I'm about 5K of the way round on a Sunday morning. Um, Interesting fact about the Ibrook Reservoir was that it was used as a testing ground or a testing area for low level flying for the um, chaps that uh, took part in the Dam Busters mission. So, yeah, little local fact. Um, guys, just a quick update. Um, I do want to do some more videos, but like I say, they'll be kind of as and when. Um, I do, you know, kind of sincerely miss some of the feedback that I used to get because I used to, you know, it's a it's one of those things that you know it's, it's nice to hear nice comments but um you know i still watch you guys on youtube i'm still part of all the facebook groups and uh yeah i will i will um do some videos certainly from the bushcraft show certainly from some of the bear girls events um, and i do have some kind of small adventures that i'll be going on in 2017 so guys that's me hunterian 1986 stay safe take care